So what's diverticulosis? What's diverticulitis? What's the difference between the two? That's what we are talking about today, guys. I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. It's great that you're with me. Okay, so what's a diverticula? Um, well, diverticula is basically an outpouching uh, of the intestine, little outpouchings, little bulging sacs that sort of pop out, um, you know, bulge out of the intestine. Okay, that's what we talk about or are referring to when we talk about diverticular or diverticula rather I should say um you know diver diverticular it's so it's like a mouthful diverticular disease is most common in people over the age of 60 um what are the causes you say well you know we used to think that the cause has uh, had a lot to do with a low fiber diet but some evidence is now suggesting that that, that may not entirely be the case uh, although many people have not ruled that out genetics very likely play a role as well as other things um, dynamics in the colon, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So that's diverticular disease. And by the way, this is just sort of a very brief 60,000 foot overview for you guys to understand. I know many of you probably have diverticular disease or diverticula, these outpouchings um, that come, that little bulge out of the, the intestines. Okay. Um, so that's why I want to talk about this is if this sounds familiar for you or anyone you love. Now, uh, you might be wondering, well, what's diverticulitis and what's the difference between diverticulitis and diverticulosis? Okay. Um, diverticulitis is when those outpouchings, those bulging sacs become inflamed. That's right. Um, this is uh, the part that can actually cause some symptoms that really kind of get people's attention. Um, and by the way, less than 5% of people with um, diverticulosis actually get diverticulitis. Itis meaning inflammation. That's usually what the itis means. Okay. Uh, symptoms include fever, pain, uh, left-sided abdominal pain, um, sometimes diarrhea, constipation, nausea, vomiting, etc. Um, but the thing about diverticulitis, um, this inflammation of these little outpouchings, these little bulging sacs, um, is that they sometimes can lead to complications. There can become abscesses or fistulas or stenosis or rather narrowing um, of the uh, the area in the colon, okay? Those are just some uh, little, little factoids about diver diverticulosis as well as diverticulitis. For any of you who have suffered with diverticulitis, uh, you have diverticulosis, just make sure that you're seeing your doctor regularly and you're also seeing your gastroenterologist to make sure that you're being properly treated. And I should say also, I didn't mention this, that diverticulitis um, tends to be treated with antibiotics, uh, medications, other things as well, sometimes not even, okay? So it's treatable. The question is uh, how often you have these uh, episodes, how severe they are, what complications you may have, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Um, anyway, just some food for thought, okay? Um, make sure you're always checking with your doctor about medical conditions that apply to you. Guys, if you have not liked and followed my page, I invite you to do so. I do daily health videos. Please share this with other people. Um, guys, for all of you who send stars, I so appreciate you. You can find those right underneath the video. I will respond to you personally. Guys, I'll see you soon.